Okay, I have 5.15. Might be a little ahead of time, but I want to welcome everyone to our meeting and call it to order. Um, we got a great attendance tonight. The only one that isn't here is Scott, and he couldn't he couldn't attend. I'm going to take that. Cole, excuse me, Cole. I know Scott. And also, um, with the, with uh, Todd becoming city administrator, we've lost our alder person, but we'll be, uh, Mike will be appointing one in the near future. So with that, we stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Thank you. Um, Sarah, did we get any correspondence? Did we get it? I don't know what you mean. Go. Oh, okay, gotcha. <laughs> Do we have any correspondence, uh, Sarah? Uh, as probably everyone has already heard, the Art Center has canceled the Levitt Amp concerts for the re remaining of the summer, so we will not be volunteering <laughs> at those. And um, the letter back to Esslingen from the mayor is still a work in progress. And then the letter that Cole is writing for Subami is also a work in progress. He's ha aiming to have a draft ready uh, this coming week. Okay. And that's all I got. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay, I look for approval of the minutes from Thursday, June 4th. So moved. Moved, uh, second. moved and seconded. Uh, any discussion about the minutes? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay. Oh, you're not opposed. Okay. <laughs> Just delayed. Okay. Um, format for Essing and Fist. I think last month it was tabled, and we kind of, uh, not kind of, but uh, for the most part, really believe that we can't do the same type of format we've done in the past. Mark had mentioned in a couple other that possibly we could have a drive through Broad Fry that day, and I think uh, Three Sheeps would be up for that and uh, we went to a drive through at Johnsonville last Sunday and and it worked and they, they still made some money so uh, let's open that for discussion about do we want to still have a, uh, a drive through brat fry on that day I mean people can take it home um, they're set up that people can eat there if they want to but it's their choice and it's not our decision uh, in and out so discussion Sleep over this, but the idea I, I had thought of is to you know obviously keep it simple, and uh, you could run a bright fry from 11 until 3. You need two people to fry food. All you're serving is hamburgers and brats, so you have one person serving hamburgers, one person serving brats, one person collecting money, five people. Um, and then you'd serve the food outside, or you know so that. I don't know if you can actually ferry it to their car. I, I didn't think of that, but everything would be cooked outside, served outside. If people want to walk inside after that and eat it, so be it. Um, the, the downside to this is we really should have onions and pickles in small Ziploc baggies like Charles Church does. Been doing that for years. And the ketchup and mustard should really be in small plastic containers with a cover on it. And um, just to, you know, be safe. The other thing is Johnsonville, for the last three years, has sponsored 500 bucks. And we've gotten um, three sheeps. We've gotten money from three sheeps. I think they used to give us about a buck of glass. Because obviously, when you go to a festival, you got a lot more people that are going to be there. But in, uh, I still have all these uh, things. Uh, 2018, three sheep, $600 and, $638. 2017, 
Three sheep, $550. Last year was the worst year we had because we had it on a Packer game. Three sheep, 350 So three sheep, last year, three sheep and Johnsonville sponsorship, 850 bucks. And Johnsonville gives us the hamburgers and brats. I think without some form of sponsorship, and obviously without the meat being donated, we'd have to have a screw loose to even want to do this. Uh, but that, that's my idea. It, you know, we could, you could have a skeleton crew of like five people, run it from 11, you could literally get there at 10 in the morning because we're not setting much of nothing up. And by three o'clock, you've virtually got stuff packed up. By quarter after three, you're either going home or you're getting a beer and, with, and, and practicing your, so, so your distancing. So that's my idea. I don't know if anybody's got any other ideas they want to add to. And once again, if we don't do this, I mean, somewhere down the road before we get too carried away, we should see how many people would be willing to put in a, well, if we serve for four hours, we would need about a total of a shift of like about five hours. Whether we took some of the shifts and busted them in two where you had a two and a half hour shift or maybe a three hour shift that overlapped. Yeah, when I talked to James, he said, you know, he doesn't know what it's going to be at that point, but he said that he, he still wants to go forward with it. They just started their yoga and beer outside, so, you know, they're still doing events there, but with, with yeah. social distancing, yeah. you know, the pro process. Once again, so. we basically, I mean, we could run this whole event with two Nescos. they got to be plugged in, though. But normally we have four Nescos and two chafing dishes and a couple other things. No potato salad, no beans, no water, no, you know, it's hard to call it Essling and Fast. You can call it Essling and Fast Brat Fry, or I don't know what you call it, but I mean, it, we couldn't even afford a band because if we yeah, buy a or, band. Or just Mayor's International Committee Brat Yeah, fryers. we're just shooting ourselves in the foot. You, yeah, so. you, you want to make some money, you're going to have to keep it simple. Yeah. Everybody got, I got to tell you, before you sit down, anybody got any questions for anybody me? Anybody contacted? Well, you know what, uh, Mike uh, usually uh, does that, and I'm I wouldn't doubt I wouldn't doubt they would probably do it. Yeah, Tony, right, Tony, and and uh, I mean the main thing would be to get the food, and and you know they've they've been apparently I mean I'm interpreting this as a five hundred dollars as a cash donation, not just the food, not the equivalent of what they give us in food, for instance. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if we can get um, some corkage out of three sheeps, if we could get 500 or something dollars out of Johnsonville, and if we can get the hamburgers and brats, well, then all you need is bags, wraps, onions, pickles, ketchup, mustard, lighter fluid, charcoal. Not much. I mean, we spent 100 bucks on rolls last year, so... You could do this party for a two hundred dollar outlay would take care of the party. So it just, but somewhere down the road we're going to want to take a hand uh, a hand count. If there's only two people that want to do this, then we're wasting, we're spinning our wheels for nothing. So any other uh, talk? Any other questions Henry. for me? I just have a question. Uh, you got to go over there and talk. Okay. Uh, should I call Ryan Kautzer and cancel him? Sure. Yes. Okay, I will do that. No, I I think No, we not not with what we're talking about. I don't think we can afford them this year. Uh the other thing is I do have charcoal left over from last year. Uh so I got like three bags of three or four bags of charcoal. So that's not an issue and I'd be willing to help fry again like always. So, um Anyone else? Is it Julie? First of all, you're not going to have the same turnout. You're not going to get anywhere near the amount of beer sold that you did from Three Sheeps last year. The, the turnout is not going to be as strong. You're not encouraging people to go inside. For the amount of time we're putting into it, I don't think it's worth doing it at all. We don't know what the situation is going to be in September to go through all this effort of planning and stuff. The COVID cases are declining, is going up in Sheboygan. I know I cannot work at it. My mm. husband cannot work at it. I know we've got, look at the age of our group. I don't encourage most of the people in this group to be able to work at it. So as Mark said, how many people want to work at it, first of all? 
How many people want to work at a show of hands, just out of curiosity? I would. So you have enough if you want to do five all day. But I don't think the money we get out of it is going to be worth it. I don't think we're going to make that much. If you can't guarantee the sponsorship, there's no way you can but, do it. Okay, uh, the chair, chair privilege is that if we don't, and I put it on the agenda, if we don't do any fundraising at all, and we can't do it, then we got to think of some other fundraisers because this, we operate off of our own fundraising and we do this for the students in all those programs. And so if we don't do even these smaller fundraisers, then we're going to have to think about some other options. Julie? The students are not going to Germany this year. We don't know if we're going to Germany this coming year. The Germans aren't coming here this year, so if we put things on hold for a year, it, you've got, it's negating everything. If you're not, you don't need the expenditures like you're saying. I, I don't see where the expenditures are going to be happening. No. No. We're not sponsoring the kids this year. So we don't, if we put everything on hold for a year, we're sort of where we're at, the status quo. Uh, any other comments? Um, have, you, have you got me? Yeah. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, okay, so there's, there's absolutely no raffles. No silent auction, right? Okay. Any, any. I, I could see where the silent auction might be a little dicey. Seems to me like we could have, we could maybe think that out and come up with something, a handful of items that might attract enough. But the raffle tickets seem almost like an automatic, don't they? Particularly if we have a, a portion of it toward food. Yeah. The. the the Johnsonville Fire Department had theirs, and they still had raffle. They had still raffle tickets, and they still had a cash raffle. Sure. Um, would a 50-50 in-house be, that'd be a little dicey, you think? Probably, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But, but right, we, had, we had raffle tickets. You know, we'd get them 10, 20 at a time, and... We must have made a few bucks on that, yes? Mm hmm Yeah. So anyone else? Well, we got a couple options. We can continue to have it tabled, or we can uh, bring it up for a vote that we go forward with the planning of a broad fry. And I can see a broad fry is something that if you, you, you could cut it off pretty quick, I mean, a month ahead, three weeks ahead, you could say, well, we're not going to go forward with it. So. Are you going to advertise? What? Well, we'll just we do the Facebook advertising. Yeah. Did we ever advertise more than three weeks in advance? Maybe four. Mm -hmm. So, so we need to either keep it tabled till August, or we need to um, make a vote that we want to go forward with it with the people who want to uh, do it. So. Julie? I'll move that we do not have a broad fry at all. Okay, it's a motion made that we do not have a broad fry. Is there a second to that? Okay, moved and seconded. Okay, any, any continued discussion? Hearing none, okay, a vote of aye means that we don't have the broad, broad fry. Okay, all in favor of Julie's motion and not having a broad fry signify by saying aye. And, um, um, opposed? Okay, I think we need to have a hand vote. So all those in favor okay. of I of not having a broad fry, raise your hand. Six. Okay, how many um, opposed, meaning that we would have a broad fry, or we vote? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's... Seven? Yeah, I'm a member. What's Tom's Tom, Tom, you're, you're yeah. I seven. Okay, it's I think yeah. it, I think uh, is that we will attempt to have a broad fry. And we still have the opportunity to back out. Yeah, we can back out. So okay, so we'll on uh, we'll have this on the discussion again for August, 
and uh, we'll continue discussing. And it it's just something that you know if we if go ahead, Mark. I'm I'm just wondering if um, you know the, the three big uh, dollar amounts here are uh, three sheeps. You know, if they're willing to give us a buck a glass or whatever for that day, free product from Johnsonville, and they sponsored us for the last three years too. I mean, those three things are a thousand bucks. I mean, we could run a fifteen-minute brat fry and make a thousand dollars. So we, we, well, hey, I mean, we want to make sure that that we're going to get get those sponsorships. Otherwise, I, I might even just vote the other way myself. Yeah. Well, let's move forward with the planning for now. Yeah, I mean, can we'll... I don't know. I don't know the the people on those channels. Can we? Can we? Um, can we? We do this before next meeting and see if they're willing to one. Yeah. Product, five hundred dollar donation and three sheep's a buck of glass and I'm sure everybody's going to say sure, fine. But I mean, obviously, like I said, fifteen minute brat five would net us a thousand bucks. So I'd be really interested in doing it if we can get those kind of sponsorships. Julie? I'm a little leery about that because it was wrong because I tried... Julie, to, can you go to the... I tried contacting them for that kid's cancer Brad Fry was doing, and he says we don't like encouraging doing this. Well, and so he, was, he wasn't, he, you know, he, he really, they don't want to do that anymore. He said don't even mention that we're doing it to anybody. We don't want to be known for doing this. So I, he's tending to pull back on that. So I'm just saying you might have a little more resistance. I would say if we don't have a $500 sponsorship, if we have to buy food, I'm voting the other way. So we should check that out. Well, the motion's made, so we're going to go forward. Please put it on the agenda for next month. We'll continue to do that. Okay, thanks. Um, discuss the possible delay of our travel plans for next trip next year. There are, and because there's so many uncertainties, and right now Europe is not accepting any people from the United States. Um, so what's the feeling about just rather than doing any more planning for this, this year is look towards May 2022, or 2022, it doesn't have to be May. 2021. No, what would be 21 is we would be going, so it's 22. Unless everything opens up and we go in the fall of 21, but... It's only a few months difference. I mean, yeah. Is it worth so, hinting? So I would say we look to sometime in 2022 for our next trip to Essingen. Do I hear a motion on that? And then we can get it on the table and discuss it. Okay, second. Okay, Pat, second. Okay, it's... Motion made and seconded that we delayed a trip to 2022. Any discussion? Yeah. I think we can put this one to bed real quickly. Why don't we just put it to a vote? How, who would be interested in possibly going to Europe in May of 2021 versus who would rather go there in May of 2022? We don't even need discussion, in my opinion. If, if people want to go in 21, then we'll have discussion. Yeah. Well, I think that's what the, the motion would take care of. Okay. So all in favor of delaying the trip to 2022, signify saying aye. 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 Any aye. opposition? Okay. So we are going to delay the trip until 2022. So we'll be in planning, uh, planning that when we know have more information. Okay. Okay. I think uh, I put this on alternate fundraising options. You know, because we, you know, and I think I just put it up not to make a decision, but start thinking of that, because you know we could have minor brat fries to to do it. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to attend bar anywhere or anything of that. Um, you know, do we have a, a community wide uh, raffle or something like that? Um, so, Julie. Oh, you're scratching your head. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, Rich, yes. Yo. The, the only thing that I'm thinking of, um, it's my understanding that Meatsfelds is still, I know it's under the city, but they're still doing their brat fries. In their little hut, they moved it to the other side of the street and they have, 
tables and things. Mm -hmm. So that would be an alternate idea if, okay. we, if we didn't, you know, mm -hmm. um, and see what happens. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Any other, any more discussion? Okay. Okay. That we'll just keep, we'll, we'll keep that on as a standing agenda item for a little while, Sarah. Okay. Okay. Okay, the last uh, thing is Sovami Sister City Relationship, Next Step and Subcommittee. Um, here again, that's somewhat on hold again, and uh, we're waiting for Cole's uh, letter, and just to let them know that we're thinking of them. And Japan is not in, in as tough a shape as our country, so they're a little more open than we are right now. So, Yeah, Cole said that he's been um, messaging with Meiko, May yeah. is that? Mm -hmm. And she said, yeah, S or, uh, Subami has had next to no cases. So their situation is much different. Right. Right. That's great. So, okay. Anything else? Is there anything you would like put on the agenda for next month? If, if at this point, if not, just let Sarah, Mike, and I know and we'll get it on the agenda. With that, I look, the next meeting is August 6th. Pardon? <laughs> He's ahead of you. Oh. Okay, now a motion to adjourn. Second. <laughs> okay, May, motion to adjourn. Main second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Okay. <laughs> You're all day late and daughter shirt there, Tom. <laughs> okay, Sorry thanks. For, Thanks for everyone coming and Tom for showing up. Have a great evening. Thank you.